Hi, I'm Bekir Ferhat Yilmaz, a member of ADS Engineering. I've returned with a brand new training video. Today, I will demonstrate the process of configuring Modbus settings in AGS 880 series drivers. If you wish, we can do the procedures together now. In AGS 880 series drivers, you can first make your Modbus connection from the gray colored XT2D terminal on the driver. To configure internal Modbus settings, we need to access the menu, parameters, and the section that displays the full list of options. Then, we should locate and select group 58 from the available choices. In this case, we are opting for the internal field bus. We opt for Modbus RTO by enabling the protocol. Subsequently, we proceed to enter our node address, which is 5803, into the designated field provided here. Our communication article, 58004, 58005 parity. Increase the word count to about 24 words while ensuring complete accuracy in conveying the meaning without adding fictional information or omitting crucial details. From 58, choose data I.O. from 5801. Cartel word is 16 bits, 2 ref 1 are 16 bits. It continues like 400,001, 400,002 here. We can also do reading from here. If you have the desire to do so, you are more than welcome to proceed with your wish. You have the option to select the data you desire to read from this source. For instance, you can access information about the speed of the engine that is being utilized for the task at hand. You have the option to select the data you desire to write and read using this method. In the end, it is necessary for us to refresh the settings from section 58.06 in order to ensure they are up to date and accurately reflect the current information. After refreshing the settings, our connection to the Modbus protocol has now been established. In today's training video, we explored configuring Modbus settings in AGS S880 series drivers. Contact us using info in the description. Thanks for watching. Thank you.